morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi and today again walking and talking here on the beautiful beach in Phuket, Thailand. Yes, uh, we have four Bitcoin charts, uh, amazing trading tip, some travel advice. We have again, of course, talk about the news because it is three news items that is like covering all X or Twitter, however you refer to it. And yes, also, of course, talking about some live advice quickly jump into the first part of the video the charts to see what they have to say because are we going to go up to 48k slash 50k or are we going to see that pullback that everyone is awaiting now of like 20 to 30 percent let's quickly jump into those charts to see what they have to show us guys bam the first chart for today guys a beautiful one hour chart this time uh, the buy bit one hour Bitcoin USD perpetual chart guys we can see how beautifully we touched 46,000 US dollar yesterday with a wick and we pulled back beautifully again here to the level there of 44,600 and now again we are moving up guys we are again at 45,300 ish level guys beautiful structure of the chart going up pumping pulling back a little bit a beautiful retrace and then again giving all that power that we need to keep support at that 45k level. So 45k seems to become that new level of support. A beautiful level from there to take it all the way up to 48k, maybe even to 50k. Guys, yes, very exciting times for Bitcoin. I just love to be in this industry at the moment. Ha, this is gonna be a bullish year. 2024 and 2025, amazing bullish years, guys. Now let's quickly jump into some amazing charts that will show you something really beautiful that you really need to see in the beginning of 2024. Watch all of these charts. The first of the charts is this one, guys. This is showing you how people finally start to understand they need to hodl their Bitcoins. And that's very important that people start to understand that they hold all their Bitcoins. 15% of Bitcoins hasn't moved in the last 10 plus years. 15% is already holding Bitcoin longer for 10 plus years. Yes, I also have a couple of Bitcoins that I hold already longer than 10 years. That were the Bitcoins I was mining already in 2013. None KYC beautiful bitcoins in my wallet. I belong to that 15%. 30% hasn't moved bitcoin for three years and more. Also a massive amount of people that didn't touch their bitcoins for three plus years. 30% and 60% didn't touch their bitcoins already for one year plus. There's hopefully that 60% of the people that bought bitcoin a year ago around those prices when I told them to buy 16, 17, 18k. I have been guiding you all the way through. I told you from the beginning, we will not fall to 12K. Look back and watch all my video. You will never find any video of me saying we are going to 12K. I have been saying all the way, 16, 17K is that bottom. We are going to go up from there. And now 60% didn't touch those Bitcoins that they bought already around these prices. They are in a shitload of profit and they're going to be in a shitload more of profit in the next couple of months. Beautiful chart. Then we have the realized profit loss ratio and a 30 day simple moving average, guys. To simplify the chart, we can see that bright blue line, that is of course the Bitcoin price. Then we can see that beautiful green line that also sometimes turns uh, pinkish and we have a horizontal yellow dotted line. Every time when that green line touches that horizontal yellow dotted line, it is the start of the bull market. Just look to that left circle completely left on the chart. That is when the first time that green line started to hit that dotted line. That is, if you then look to the light blue line, the start of the bull market in 2013. The second circle on the chart is around 2016, 17, guys. When we touched that yellow dotted line, that was the start of the bull market of 2017 to that massive 20K level, guys. Now, the third time we touched it, that was when we retraced from 3K to 14K and back to 6K. And that was, of course, that beautiful moment in 2019 when that massive run all the way up to 70K started. And now look to the fourth yellow circle on this chart, guys. Yes, you can see it completely on the right. We are about to touch that line again. 
and that means we will again go into a massive mole market. Does that mean we can't pull back first? Yes, of course we can pull back first. As you can see on the chart, beautifully, mostly we did pull back, but I will show you this a little bit more clear on the next couple of charts, guys. This is a beautiful Bitcoin spiral for your cycle chart. You can see uh, that we are now nearing the spot ETF deadline there in 2024. And we can see that we also are nearing the halving. And mostly when we near that halving, guys, we can see that orange line uh, pumping a little bit up to that next gray line of that spiral, guys. And then when you start to see those black dots on the charts, black do uh, dark blue dots on the charts, these are the new all-time highs. So yes, if you keep track on this chart, you will see that somewhere on the top of the chart where the blue dots start, that will be the first time we will surpass that 70K level. And then from there, we will go to the new all-time high completely on the right of the chart. And from there again, we will go into a bear market. Beautiful spiral chart, pause the video if you wanna analyze it a little bit more, guys. Then we have this one, the Cycle Mid Tops MVRV Z-Score, guys. It's very simple. You need to pause the video to analyze it completely, but you can see that every time when we draw these Fibonacci levels, we can see that we are pulling back to a certain level. And after that, we break a certain resistance level, guys. On the bottom of this chart, you can see these red magnets as well. And these red magnets are pulling the Bitcoin, and, that red ma and those red magnets are every time pulling that Bitcoin price up to a certain level before we see a short, uh, before we see a small retrace. Every time, in 2012 we saw it happening, in 2016 we saw it happening, in 2019 we saw it happening, and now 2023 we see it happening again. We can see the Bitcoin is being pulled towards the 0.618 level, guys, which is around 48K. And the moment we will reach at 0.618 level, that is the moment, if you look to the previous uh, moments in the chart that we saw a small retrace, 30% retrace, 20% retrace, even a 50% retrace uh, in the previous bull markets, guys, whenever we touched that 0.618 level. Whenever that pinkish line at the bottom hit that pinkish bar, horizontal bar, you know where those magnets are. But I have another chart, guys, that even shows you better maybe how it will play out. That's this chart over here, guys. Because on this chart, you can see the DMI overheat and support weekly, guys. So this is how Bitcoin is oversold or overbought at the moment. And we can see when the blue line hits that pinkish area on the bottom, that every time in the past, we saw a beautiful retrace. In 2012, we saw a 49% correction. In 2016, we saw a 39% correction. In 2019, we saw even a 52% correction. In 2024, maybe we will see a 30% correction. If it is up to this chart, yes, a healthy correction is in play. Look to the bottom part of the chart. That cycle one support, that cycle two support, that greenish area, that cycle three support. And we see now also again that green area coming up, cycle four support, which could lead, which could mean indeed that we will see a short retrace now before we move further towards creating a new all-time high in Bitcoin. So, 47, 48, maybe even 50K, maybe pull back then 10K to 40K levels or 35K levels, and then again build structure to go to these new all-time highs, 60K, 70K and higher, guys. This is how Bitcoin has been moving all the time, so don't be fooled. Your emotions will start to take a toll when we go above 50K and we fall back again below 40K. Yes, you will feel emotions, but just save up your salaries and all the other money that you have separated sell you still you can still sell your cars and if that dip comes buy that dip because if you look at this beautiful chart that rainbow chart you can see we are just getting started yes bitcoin is in the accumulation phase that green phase and from accumulation it will still go to still cheap and it will go of course to hodl and then from that hodl area we will go into the orange and red areas and those are the areas again to take your profits. At the moment, it's still a beautiful moment to buy Bitcoin, guys. Don't be fooled. I'm not showing rainbow colors for any other reason than it's the beautiful moment to buy Bitcoin. All the other rainbow colors, I don't give a fuck for me. It's still a beautiful thing that plays out in nature, a rainbow after the rain. And then the sun will start to shine. That was the last chart for today, guys. Let's quickly jump into the trading tip. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, it's very simple. 
there's always two options. We can go up and we can go down. But at the moment for me, guys, I'm still waiting for that play to 48K. And yes, we hit 46K yesterday, but it is now 48K. Maybe we go sideways a little bit, go one more pump up between 48 and 50K, guys. And that for me is that magical level where a lot of people with very weak hands will start to sell their Bitcoins again to all those whales and sharks around us that want to buy a shitload of Bitcoins because they understand that the 10th of January probably the spot ETS will be approved and that will again lead to some bullish news and maybe even to a higher price, guys. So it's a very simple game that you need to play and that game is called accumulating a shitload of Bitcoins as long you can till the halving in April 2024, guys. That is the thing that you need to do. Just accumulate Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Now, in the charts, you can see clearly that there is a possibility there will be a retrace, but that retrace is not negative. That is a beautiful market correction that gives you the opportunity to buy more Bitcoin. That's very simple. You should see all those dips as a buying opportunity to buy more Bitcoin because we are in front of this massive bull market and that bull market is going to take another two years, guys. Don't be fooled. It's not like in a short-lived bull market only in like January 2024. It's going to take all the way up to 2025 to enjoy these beautiful rushes in Bitcoin up and beautiful retraces again to buy some more when your salary comes in. Now, that were the charts for today, guys. Let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, of course, is first saying hello to all the new Signal members, guys. Uh, yesterday I made a video that we made 362% profit in 2023 with that Signals group. So yes, there was a shitload of new signups yesterday. Yes, because it's free, of course. Uh, but I give me a day time to give you all access to the group. Uh, you will be given access. Yes, I saw your signups. It will just take me a little bit because I'm in Thailand, so I'm a different time zone. I woke up this morning with my email box full uh, with signups, guys. I hope you all realized it was 362% in a year. It's not in a month or in a week. It was 362% for the full year of trading. Don't be fooled. Don't think I'm going to make you rich like in a day or in a month or in a week. That's not what I'm going to do. Oh, you need to start with like a million. Then we can make it one million and a half. But it's like in a year time, 362%. So thank you and welcome to all the new signups. You will be added as soon as possible. The thing that made my signal group successful is the trading tip for the day. And the trading tip for the day is stick to one system. When you have a successful system that is working out for you an average making profit, you need to stick to that system. Don't go jumping from this system to the next system, to try another system, to try another system. That doesn't work. You need to be able to focus on that system for a certain amount of time. Give it at least like three months and then look at the average of your profits in those three months. And if that system is successful in those three months, you extend it to six months. But you can't stop a system because you have one trade and loss or two trade and loss. Last month, for example, December 2023, uh, we started with the first two trades and loss. One was 7% and loss, one was 12% and loss. That's 90% and loss. At the end of that month, of course, we stopped the month with 6.2 or 6.8% in profit because the system works as long as you stick to that system. It doesn't work if you, when you made two losses, you jump to another system. You stick to one system and that is what made the system successful. That is what made us make 362% in a very boring market last year, guys, because a huge part of the market was boring. Now. This year, I think the system is going to outperform it even better. The first trade was a 12.6% profit already. So let's see how January will do. Now, that was a fitting tip for today. Always stick to a system. The travel tip for today, guys, is a very simple one. Whenever you're in need, you need to take a shit or you need to take a piss, use beautiful exclusive hotels. When you're walking by a beautiful exclusive hotel, go there, tell them you want to have a drink in the lobby and you go have that drink in the lobby, drink your water or drink your coke and you will have access to the most cleanest, beautiful toilets in the world, guys. That's how you use it. That's how you solve the issue that if you're, for example, in Thailand and some of these toilets are like still like very old fashioned, you know, with no paper, with just a hole in the floor, you know, something strange like that. 
if you run into that, just go into a beautiful luxury hotel lobby. Just all yourself wondering, use the beautiful toilet. Man, sometimes you can even take a shower uh, after you took a shit. And the second advantage of those beautiful hotel lobbies is that they mostly have free Wi-Fi as well. So you can upload your video while taking a shit. So the travel tip for today, guys, use these beautiful luxury hotel lobbies to take a very clean shit or even watch this beautiful Bitcoin family YouTube video while you take that shit. So that's the travel tip for today, guys. These luxury hotel lobbies are always handy when it comes to taking a clean shit. <laughs> Which should bring me to the next part of the video and it's uh, education about where I answer one of the questions. Uh, but to be very honest, I forgot to look at the questions. I was a little bit up late yesterday evening. Uh, phew, I went for dinner and some drinks. So yes, uh, I didn't wake up that early this morning and I completely forgot to look at your questions. Sorry for that. I apologize, but I will come back with an answer to two questions tomorrow again. I promise that, guys. So to, for tomorrow, guys, please ask, uh, ask some questions today below the video so I can answer those questions tomorrow in tomorrow's video guys and um, completely forgot it sorry for that but let's jump into the next part i did news for today guys i didn't have real news but for today you, if you just scroll through x man it's like sometimes you just feel in this very strange world like 50 percent of x is waiting for a list of epstein and the other 50 percent of x is waiting for the spot etf approval and then maybe a lot of other people are just looking at how all those famous people are now like scrambling up their apologies that they visited an island or anything else guys like that it's like a very weird place now and then sometimes i wake up i'm like what the fuck just happened on x so i didn't even know there was a list but apparently there's a list of people that visited a beautiful island i didn't know what they did there i don't even want to know what they did there but 50 percent of twitter is waiting for that list i'm not even belonging to that 50 percent that's waiting now for that spot etf approval because it will come there and i don't think that it will influence the bitcoin price massively directly because it will take some time for all those institutional investors to put all their capital in those Bitcoin spot ETFs guys because most of those people already have their capital vested in all kinds of assets guys so they need to free up those assets to be able to invest in Bitcoin so give them one two three maybe even like six months before that the full liquidity will go into those new Bitcoin spot ETFs guys it's not gonna happen from one day into another day I don't really believe that guys and even if it does man we are ready our bags are filled you're all watching my videos already now maybe for a year so you bought bitcoin all between 16 25k maximum so you are already happily 100 percent of profit waiting for another 100 percent of profit because of that beautiful news that will come out of the spot etfs guys yes i do believe that we could even go to 60k uh, because of that very bullish news that everyone is waiting for at the moment guys let's see it's probably happening just before the weekend the weekend is already always volatile and then it will become a very volatile first weekend of 2024 guys beautiful part of the beach over here i'm going to walk around the corner to show you some different beach side now because yeah that part you saw already now for two months so let's quickly jump now into the next part of the video And the next part of the video, guys, is, uh, of course, a life inspirational quote or something like that. You know, when I was a young guy, very young guy, I'm still young, but when I was like a little guy, like 14, 15 years old, I was a huge fan of Guns and Roses. And they had that beautiful song, knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. And I know it is like original from Bob Dylan, but still, I got to hear the song really intensively because of Guns and Roses. Axl Rose slash those guys, they made Knocking on Heaven Door for me very popular in the period of time that I was like a puber, guys. Now, Knocking on Heaven Door always reminds me to this quote. I'm not going to keep knocking on Heaven's door till they open the door. I'm just going to create a new door and walk through it the way I want it. And that is very important in life, guys. It's very important to understand you don't need to keep knocking those old doors, knocking, 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 asking for permission. Can I please enter without that the door is even open? And then knocking again, knock, 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 knock knocking on heaven's door. Can I please enter? If they don't grant you access to that door or the door even doesn't respond or opens, create a new door, design your own path, start to walk that path and create that own complete new story that you want to create. You are in control of your own story. You don't need to keep knocking those doors. Fuck those doors. Create new doors. Open those doors. 
live your life to the fullest while you design your own path. That is the most powerful message you can have for 2024. If you, if you have been trying to knock those doors now for years, forget it. Fuck them. Go play the song of Guns N' Roses, knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. And listen how often they said, knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Millions of times the heaven's door didn't open. <laughs> they needed to create new doors. And if you will create new doors, you can walk through them because you have the key. And if you don't want other people to walk through the door, then lock that door behind you. <laughs> but then you can't come back anymore. That's the most important part of the whole thing. If you create that new door and then you walk through it, there is always an option to walk back. Don't be afraid. A new door doesn't mean that you're changing your life like indefinitely forever. It just means that there is a corridor of time that you can like pass beautiful through, like this boat is passing through. And if you don't like what you're seeing behind that door, you just walk back, go back to your old life that you were living before. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Now I'm now designing the lyrics of the song. <laughs> it's a very beautiful place over here, guys, up there. I think that's very beautiful. I would, I would prefer to live like there in these houses with sea view. But I think my kids would be like a little bit too far from the center and everything to, uh, you know, they are, yeah, they just want to be around bars and uh, shops and all that stuff, guys. So to get back into the story, guys, it's very important that you realize you don't need to depend on the existing doors that are already there. You can always create new doors that give you new opportunities in your beautiful life. Don't depend on other people that build doors. Build your own doors, walk through the doors, and guide others to join you afterwards in walking through those doors. Show people those beautiful new possibilities in life. If you start to show other people the possibilities, they will start to believe and they will start to take those opportunities as well for granted and really understand that changing life is possible. It is no science, it's nothing difficult. You just need to give it a try. You just need to be able to say to yourself, I'm gonna create this new door, I'm gonna walk through it. If I like it, I will keep walking. If I don't like it, I will return back and lock that door again. But you have always that beautiful possibility to just give it a try, give it a shot. If you will not give it a shot, you will probably never give it a shot. And if you will never give it a shot, you will end up on your deathbed regretting that you never gave it a shot. It's simple as that. Life is about grabbing life by the balls. Take it by the balls, make it your life, make it your path, make it your success, make it your complete story. You're the poet, write a beautiful poem. Make sure everyone will read that poem afterwards and will be like, what the fuck, that was a very beautiful story. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about all the tasks, everything else? Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bam.